Hi, my name is Candy Torres, and I'm Puerto Rican, and I worked in the space program, and I'm here to tell you my story. Yeah. I lived in a very different time period than yours. I grew up in the 1950s when the world was going through a lot of changes. It was less than 10 years since the end of World War II. People like my parents were still recovering from its horrible destruction and sacrifices they made for years. They were rebuilding their lives by throwing out the old. The future offered new possibilities and hope. Movies had been around for a long time, cranking out stories. They helped people survive the terrible times. Television, however, was still very new. In fact, not every home had one. There weren't a lot of channels and color TV didn't exist yet. Every evening, families gathered around to learn what was going on in the world and to be entertained. Like all children, I was a sponge taking in what I saw and heard. Superman was on television before I was born. So images of flying seeped into my baby brain. He was strong and good. I wanted to be like him. I dreamed of putting my arms out and leaping into the sky. Other shows had cars zooming through the air and rockets zipping into space. By age five, I was hooked on this stuff. I would daydream about the fun adventures. I didn't know what I saw started a direction for my future. What is a five letter word that describes what you are seeing? Light. What is a five letter word that allowed this light to be turned on? power. You may be wondering what this is all about. The answer is you. You have the power to turn on the light within you that brightens the world and makes it a better place. Do you believe that? Do you understand what that means? Do you care? I believe that you care because it is about your life. You get up every day and do things that move you towards your future. Sometimes there are things that you choose to do. Sometimes there are things that you're told to do. When you choose, you have the power over your life. Hopefully, the things you are told to do are learning experiences. Remember, knowledge is power. Today, I will talk about how to find and develop the power within you so that you can have the best life possible and share it with the world. When I was a little girl, I lived in a housing project, a New York housing project. Those are apartment buildings where people who don't have a lot of money live so they can save money to move on. Ours was located by a river, a marsh, and nothing interesting nearby. We were far from the city life. I wasn't in school yet, so my days were spent in the apartment with my mother and younger sister. At this time, science fiction produced amazing images of the future in magazines, the movies, and on television. It was about new technologies, new cities, new ways of living. Maybe we would go to different planets. The future would be better for everyone with houses, food, and peace. My world was expanded by what I saw and it energized me. My eyes and my mind snapped towards this new vision. This energy moved me towards my future. I daydreamed and imagined what it would be like. I loved flying and the idea of traveling to planets. I wanted to do that. The funny thing is that when I was a little girl, human beings hadn't even gone into space yet. Can you imagine a time when no one had ever gone into space? 
Now I had a story machine in my head to move the pieces of the future around and put myself into different characters and roles. That was my secret superpower. My future was years away. I would have to work a very long time to achieve my dreams. I had no defined path because I was still growing up. The world was not at my pace. I was told little girls' dreams don't come true. There weren't role models for me back then, so I had to figure out how to sustain my vision and not let people drain my energy source. I held fast to my dreams. Human beings need vision. Otherwise, we wander around. We don't know why we're here or what, we're, what to do with our lives. We have to figure out our vision, our life's direction. There are times in our lives when we feel disconnected or lost. We are a piece separated from the world's jigsaw puzzle. To fix this, we have to find our, and think about our passions and motivations and dig deep within ourselves to find our core values. And too many people struggle to grow into meaningful lives. Some are disengaged, meaning they don't have a focus or interest in life. Others are dabblers who try this or that, but don't have focus. It's great to try different experiences because it broadens our minds. However, some people live in an endless loop. When we feel like we're going around in circles, it's because we lost a clear vision for our lives. It's up to us to know our purpose and express our vision. The power is in us to stop wandering in life. When we've gone through that process, we become role models for others to find their path in contributing to a better society and world. My talk is about vision, purpose, and energy. It doesn't matter whether purpose or vision come first. However, they both need to be set before energy can push you forward. Vision is the movie for your desired future. It takes a lot of work to create your vision because you might not know where to start. Think about what catches your imagination and spirit. What excites you and makes you happy? A vision guides you in living for something that's bigger than yourself. Purpose. Purpose is the reason for which something exists, is done, or used. There is a specific result or aim. With it comes many goals, which are short or long-term steps along the way. Purpose provides you with the determination to do something important in the world. Energy. Energy puts you into action. It's like your legs or arms when playing a sport. Without tapping into your energy, your vision stops. You don't want to stall in your purpose, so you must learn how to create and channel your energy. What follows next are examples of how vision can power your life. There is no straight line because everyone is different. Now, let's find your power.